Hello, everybody. This is Stephanie, and you are in my kitchen. I am going to use my um, Instant Pot, well, my Instant Pot uh, Dutch oven again today because I'm playing with this recently. And today I'm going to make a um, some Cornish hens. So I'm, I'm going to basically kind of go by whatever the recipe that's in the book for chicken. So I'm just going to, so basically it says it only really takes an hour. So it should be done in an hour. And I have in my oven, I already got some um, yams or sweet potatoes baking. So they should be done. So I want to put them in the oven today. It's a rainy day, you know. So you know what? That's what, we, that's what I'm going to have today. So I'm going to take you on for the ride and you guys will see what I am doing. Okay, guys, I'm going to turn this thing on. All right, good. So I'm going to kind of go by what the instructions say, which the instructions are here. And they kind of say that you want to pat dry and season season your, uh, your uh, chicken. So I got two Cornish hens instead of having a whole chicken here. I got two Cornish hens. I'm not putting any uh, potatoes in there because I have some sweet potatoes in the oven. So I'll put a little celery and a little bit of um, um, carrots at the bottom. But for right now, I'm going to put this on sear saute right here and just press start and let it get hot. And while it's getting hot, I'm gonna put some avocado oil in here. It's gonna be my little recipe. I'm gonna put a little avocado oil in so I, it can sear. And avocado oil is um, really good for uh, high temperatures. So this is gonna be on like 400. It's, already, it's on 400, it's preheating. And I am also going to, before I do this, I am gonna to have to season the uh, Cornish. Okay, these are my Cornish hens. And since I am just gonna get them brown, cause I, I really, I wasn't gonna do this, but I really do wanna see some color in them. So I'm not seasoning them with a lot. I'm just gonna actually put some of this poultry season on here, on top of them. And not instead of salt and pepper, I'm putting salt, poultry season on here. And I'm gonna stick it on here like that. They're kind of on the dry side. I I washed them and then I kind of dried them off. And we're gonna see what's up here. Okay. Also, where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's here. Also, this is butter and it is some ranch seasoning, which is what I like to put on my chickens and poultry and things like that. So a spoon here. What I'm gonna do is mix it all together. If you can't see, let me stick it back over here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna mix it together with the spoon and make a, like a little paste out of it. Listen, I'm telling you right now, I'm making this up as I'm going along. So we'll see. I'm sure it's going to be good, but that's what I do. <laughs> what I do is how I do it. And that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to just mix it all together. And I'm most certainly going to take some of it. And I'm going to put it on my chicken. If you hear some music, that's Perry. Uh, let's stick a little bit inside of it, just a little, which is fine. And I'm also gonna stick some maybe under, if I can. See, if you can see, I don't know if you can, but I think you can. See my finger? Let me do it like that. See my finger under here? And there we go. I am going to Put some butter up under there too. Before I, before I put it in, in uh, that hot oil. Stick a little in here. This one doesn't have much skin left, but I'm gonna stick it in here anyway. Stick it right there. Gonna stick some 
right in here. And there we go. And I'm definitely gonna throw some in here, in the oil. I want that buttery, uh, garlicky, season taste on All my right, I'm hearing the noise, meaning it's ready to go. I'm get you a little closer into the pot right here. Here we go. So guess what we're doing now? We're gonna see if we can get this whole thing um, seasoned up. So, let's turn it down like that. Two of them will most certainly fit in here. I, I actually think maybe three would have fit. Now, two is fitting in there just right. So, we're gonna let them get brown. And I'm definitely gonna put more the rest of this on in uh, after this brown. So I'm, we're giving it like five minutes to brown on each side. And I'm gonna turn it over. And I'll be back when I turn. All right, I'm gonna turn them over and see what's up. Got a nice golden color on it. Come on over here, girl. Nice golden color, right? I like it. I like that. I like it. All right. While this is cooking on this side, I'm going to see if I can. I'm going to see if I can stick this inside. See? It's kind of thick. Let's see. Will you fit? Will you fit in here? Yep. Kind of sort of. Okay. I'm going to let that one sit in here. I'm going to put this one also. I could have just ready to try to take this out. But, you know, I'm impatient. I'm going to go on the other side. Let's see if I can get in here. Stuff it in there anyway. Okay, that's what I want to do. Because I want to stuff them with a little something. And why not put some oranges in there? Uh -huh. So it's going to continue to cook uh, very nicely until it gets brown. I'm going to add a little more of this butter in here. I'm going to just stick some on the top too. I think I will. I think I will. Stick some of it on the top. Oh, it smells really good. It smells really, really good. Stick some of it on the top. This butter in here, compound butter. Put that right there, right on the top of my chicken. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Now, I actually may have to take this out because I have to take out the chicken. I'll put it back, but I'm going to stick it, stick it out. See? Nice and brown. I think, you know what? I'm going to turn them on the side, too. Take you out, too. Turn your butt on the each side. But all sides kind of brown. That's what I want. So mostly, I want brown. Turn on the other side now. Okay, look how pretty that is. I'm very excited to do that. That's pretty. I'm going to take them out right now. From here. I'm putting right in this bowl I have. 
So they all nice and beautiful brown. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is put these onions in. Put my onions in there. And put my celery in here. Throw his carrots in here. What I'm going to do is, let's see, I'm going to throw some, throw some garlic in here too, just like that. Let's we'll throw some more thyme right on top of all of that. And let us see. I got this uh, orange. It's been hanging around for a minute, but it's gonna give it lovely flavor. It's going in. Uh, I got the two oranges over in here. And let's just cook for a minute. Some of this on here too. And I'm gonna let it cook for a minute and I will be ready. All right, I'm gonna stir it up a little. It's been, you know, sitting and cooking a little. I'm just stirring it all up. Let it go. And you're almost, you're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost there. And while this was cooking, I decided to put these little, put the, put the, uh, oops, it's too far apart. Put the uh, orange in here and some more butter and a couple of pieces of garlic inside of these little babies right here. And I'm going to stick them back in. They are falling apart. Because <laughs> they're little babies. Come on, get over here. I know you're a little baby. But we got to eat you today. All right. So, we got that going. I also made a little bit more of my butter that I want to put on here. Stick you on here. I might as well stick you right there. Since you want to open up right there. I'm going to put you right there. I'm going to put some butter in here, all on it. Should be so good. Mouth watering. The more butter, the better. Okay. That's how I got it. All the butter's in here. Go ahead, girl. And because I'm adding some water to this mixture. I'm adding about a cup, maybe a cup, a cup and a half of water. I'm also putting in some better than bouillon, this chicken, and maybe that much. It might make a nice gravy now. Stick that in. I am also, not only am I doing that, I'm also put some rosemary, some rosemary leaves in here. I had these in the refrigerator, so I'm going to use them up. I'm going to just throw them like on top of it, on top of everything right here. Throw some real rosemary on here. Give it a little nice, a nice little taste. Put a little bit more. Get rid of the stuff I got. I got some thyme also. Stick some, uh, stick some thyme in here. In the whole mixture. And I may be able to get some gravy out of this, which is what I'm hoping. That's why I'm going to put a little bit more water in to see if I can get some gravy. I think I have some sage. Here's some sage. They go, she going into pretty sage. I'm going to put a little sage in here, too. Come on in. You should taste lovely. Not only that, we're also going to put a little more of this on top. We're also going to put a little thyme on top. 
Let's go ahead and cook. I'm going to also put some onion powder and garlic powder on top. Two. That one's onion. On, on with some garlic, some garlic, granulated garlic. Put a little on top of that and all the way in. And now we need water. So when I, I heard this little noise and it went off. So I believe it was on for about a half an hour. I believe it was on for half an hour, but and then it, it cuts itself off from the searing mold. There's two cups of water and we are on our way. We are now going to cover her up. And let's look over here. She's covered up. She turned herself off. We're gonna turn her back on. We're gonna put it on manual mode and we are gonna press it twice because we are going to um, temp. We're going to three, what did she say? What does this say? Three, 350. Yes, we're gonna do 350 on manual mode for time for an hour. Okay, and then we're gonna press start. All right, that's it. We'll be back in an hour. Hi, this is Stephanie. I'm back. I heard a little beep and it's been an hour. So let's see what we got here. Let me get a little closer. Must, this is a must have with this pot because this thing is hot. You see that? Is that chicken? All right, I'm gonna see if I can make me some gravy out of this. All right, first things first, I gotta take this I'm gonna take the uh, chicken out. Let's see, come on girl. Come on out, it's basically falling apart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, that's not, that's not gonna be a good tool. Let's use this and this to get her out of here. All right. Just gonna put them out and let it rest. I'm gonna get these, most of these vegetables and stuff out. And I'm gonna see if I can make myself a gravy out of here. So while I have these, I put them on, I put them, put them on here. So now what I'm gonna do is cover them up, let them rest a little bit. You know, it smells like um, holiday, Thanksgiving up in here. That's what it smells like. A quick Thanksgiving. All right, so let me get these out of here. So I'm not using this stuff anymore, so I'm just going to take everything out and put it in here so that, so that I can get rid of it after it cools off. I'm just going to get rid of this. For the most part, it's gone. Okay, I'm back and I got the majority out. See a little bit left, but that's okay. I'm going to sit you back a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I think you can. All right, I'm gonna turn it back on. Oop, well, it ended. Touch it again. All right, I'm going to saute and sear and let it get hot and start. Oop. So a tennis stair and how many minutes? So a tennis here, sorry, <clears throat> that's what a is here. So in 20 minutes, which means that's what it was on in the first place. So it took 20 minutes for this all to uh to come to um to get cooked up and browns. So that took like 20 minutes. And now I'm gonna press start and I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let this come to a boil and simmer. When I when I know it's doing that, I am going to just add some wondra, and this will make uh, some. This will actually thicken it up and make some flour. I mean, make some gravy with it. So this this is actually quick mixing flour, and really all you do is sprinkle it in 
something and it should work. Whatever you want to make some gravy out of. So that's what I'm going to do. Let it get hot. It's preheating. I'll be back when it gets hot. Okay. As you can see, it's coming to a boil, which is what we want. At first, I was thinking that I was going to have to put this in a pot. But I'm like, no, you don't. This is not a pot. All you got to do is take that out. So here we go. I'm going to put some Wondra. Wondra. I'll sprinkle some in so it can thicken up. Yeah, where it comes, really comes out. Sprinkle some so I can get some in here to actually come out. Then all I'm doing is gonna stir it up. Cause this is um this is really flour, but it's finely, finely um sifted. So it makes it, it makes uh it easier to make some gravy. So that is what we're doing, and it's already turning into gravy, man. Yeah. It's already turning into gravy. Look at that. Look at the color. We now have gravy. If I had mashed potatoes, I'd be on. I'd be okay. But today, I made some some yams, and I actually put some a little bit of brown sugar in it, and some vanilla, and some almond, and some cinnamon, butter, and we got this. To eat that's what we're gonna eat with this with some canned um collard greens i mean i couldn't make collard greens that's just feel like it today so for a quick quick meal we're in good shape and let me now actually want to turn this off let me stop it stop it stop it cancel all right because i don't need this to do no nothing else everything's done in this one pot I don't have to do nothing else. It's nice and thick. Very thick, as a matter of fact. Could have put less wonder in here. But we got what we got. And we do have some gravy here. So I'm going to plate this up. I'm going to have a nice plate. And I'm going to show you guys what, they look, what it looks like. And I'm very happy with this pot. I got some other ideas now. <laughs> so I'm going to be making more stuff in this pot. For sure, but I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Look what she looked like. I put that gravy on there and see what she looks like. Man, I need a little taste of the chicken. Also, you see my uh, mashed um, yams and some canned collard greens. This is Sunday dinner, but I didn't do a Sunday dinner. I just showed you the Sunday dinner. Okay, let me, let me, let me. Take you to myself so you can see me and what I am doing. There's the chicken or the Cornish hen. The place is hot. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's holiday. It's holiday. It's holiday in May. But it's holiday. <laughs> good stuff. It's good. And it didn't take that long. So, you know, if you just want to have something decent to eat, man, get a couple of Cornish hens or a chicken and do this to it. I'm going to probably do the chicken the same way, but I only put one chicken in. But we're going to probably do that too. Coming soon. Anyway, let me take another bite. I got plenty of gravy. Mm. Very flavorful. Very flavorful. Really good. So, and then here's my, my sweet potato mash. What is this? Holiday? <laughs> anyway, that's how quick it is. That's how easy it is. I'm loving this pot. And I want to thank you guys for liking, subscribing, sharing, and being with me still. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.